All right, back at it. Part three of Act Razor Renaissance. Now we're going to get into the city building part of the game. This time I can read the text, so uh, <laughs> I'll try to see how I sound trying to <laughs> read it creatively. <clears throat> If I get feedback to just shut up, I'll shut up. <laughs> I love this game. I like the Super Nintendo version a lot too. I played that a lot when I was, uh, if you watch my other videos, um, when I was like 11 or 12, don't remember exactly, but long time ago. All right, Fillmore, here we go. First, I must guide my people to the lair. You like have to show them where to build. Like in this universe, God has to do everything. Tis done, Master Stanimal. The Filmorians will expand their settlement in accordance with your divine will. Yep, there they go. You have to even show them where to build. These people are hopeless, they're needy. Oh Lord, we thank you for your loving guidance. We shall proceed at once to expand our settlement in the direction you have indicated. Such pitiable creatures, absent your instruction, they would be overwhelmed by indecision and unable to determine a direction in which to expand. But look, Master Stanimal, having heard your holy word, they now leap into action and begin building new structures. Continue to direct them just so, and they will surely honor you with diligent labor. Master Stanimal, that rather large hole in the earth cannot have escaped your notice, yes? Tis a monster lair. From these burrows emerge winged fees, fiends that delight in tormenting their children from the skies above. Fortunately, I am more than capable of dispatching them with my bow. You need only direct me to do so. And blah, blah, blah. I know how to do this. Just a telling you a tutorial of how to do it. I'm not going to read every tutorial. I'm just going to read the story part. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to explain how this works. So yeah, we're uh, you have to like, while they're building and stuff, you got to fight the monsters. Um, this part is just like the Super Nintendo version. Oh Lord, this land you have granted us is filled with many trees and shrubs, which impede our settlement's expansion. Alas, we lack the means to extend our road. Bah, okay, wait. So for instance, I understand that takes a look through and strong. Blah, blah. Thus, do not fear their tools will prove useless they brought to bear or worse than their actions may invite the land's reprisal. It would seem, Master Stanwell, that your chosen cry out for a miracle. Why not comfort them in their hour of need? Now we get to perform miracles. Just like in the Super Nintendo version, you uh, can call lightning and different things. <clears throat> because they can't clear trees themselves, you have to do it yourself with lightning. Yep, here we go. And smite. Yeah, smite them. Smite the trees. Smite. And another interruption. Thank you, O Lord. Full many of us bore witness to your witness. Uh, next time I'll try not to do the text so fast. <laughs> Praise to be to you, O Lord, from whom all blessings flow. Well done, Master Stanimal. Should other such impediments require removal, I'm sure your miraculous lightning will more than suffice. Ah, and while you should bring such destructive power to bear against your people's homes as well, I've no doubt that you will not, for boundless is your love and grace. Hmm, or will I? <laughs> Master Stanimal, it seems to me that your children are doing their very best to develop and expand their settlement. For now, I think it might be prudent to adopt a rather more passive approach. Wait and see. Meanwhile, have to fight off all these monsters and stuff. Ooh, so this part is different. You used to, the villagers would kind of take care of these lairs themselves where the monsters come from. But in this game, you actually have to go and fight in the lair once they kind of set up their thing. The villagers will still 
kind of set up this magic ring or something around the lair, but then you actually have to go in there and fight. And that's going to be in part four. You won't see it in this. This is sort of coming to an end, I think. But, um... You'll see that. You kind of go in there and do more fighting to defeat every lair, so... They, they definitely kind of expanded and dragged out the city building portion of the game. Um, and some people like that, some people don't. I, I think it's great because um, th this game, it, it definitely combines different elements. You have city building and you have platforming. It's an interesting combination. It's not often done. There are a few other games that do this, but not. it's not just not often done. All right. All right, I'm not going to try to read the text because I, I went too fast. I'll just slow it down next time. Yep, I'm about ready to stop because uh, in part four, I'll descend into the one of the monster's layers to fight. Play it for another 10 minutes or so, trying to keep these videos to 10 minutes. I noticed YouTube's been taking a while to upload videos. Um, I'll probably do a 20 minute, probably do them in 20 minute sections later, but God, it freaking took forever to upload. It might just be for my phone, but it takes forever to upload videos, at least for my phone. Maybe it's better luck on a computer, but it just takes a long time. And I'm not sure if you have to have the app open, YouTube app open while it's uploading a video, but it's probably a good idea. Because I, I just, it just seems like it takes forever. Well, about ready to stop here. Oh Lord, within the monster's lair, we found terrible relics, orcs which pulse with foul, malevolent, all over hey, blah, blah blah. Yeah. So now, yep. Now we must go in there and defeat the orb and all these monsters. Alright, this is it. Part 4 will be coming up. One more lightning smite, yes. And I think that's a good stopping point.